The expert in anything was once a beginner. Take that first step and move forward. Then only you can reach that expert level. Today, let's discuss about order and ranking. Order and ranking involves the arrangement of position of an object or a person from left to right or from top to bottom. So now let's discuss some questions on order and ranking and some shortcuts to solve them. Question number one. In a row of students, position of Jennifer from the left side of the row is 17 and her position from the right end is 44. Find the total number of students in the row. So here the position of a same person is given from both left and right. That is from the left end Jennifer is 17th position. Is in 17th position and from the right end she is in 44th position. Now what we have to find is the total number of students in the row. So how will we find it? It's simple. What we have to do is just add these numbers. That is 44 plus 17 and then subtract 1 from this. So why do we subtract 1 here? Because the position of same person is given. It is Jennifer only. So she is 17 from left and 44th from right. So that same person is counted twice here. So that is why we are subtracting 1 from here. Okay, so in order to avoid that repetition, we are subtracting 1 from here. So here 44 plus 17 is 61 and 61 minus 1, 60. So that means there are total 60 students in this row. Alright, now next question. In a garden, 16 flower pots are arranged in a linear row. Rose is 7th from the left end and Lily is 12th from the right end. Find the number of flower pots between Rose and Lily. So, here a total number is given. Total number of flower pots is given and the precision of two flower pots is given. From One is from left end and the other is from right end. So here what we have to do is just take that total number. Total is 16. Now just take the sum of given positions. What is the sum here? It is 7 from left. So 7 plus 12 from right. 12. That is 19. Now what we have to do is just compare these two values. That is this total number and this sum we have to compare. So it is clear that this sum 19 is greater, right? 19 is greater than 16. That is sum is greater than the total number. So in order to find the number of elements or the number of uh, flower pots between these given two pots, what we have to do is just subtract these two. Sum is greater. So sum minus total we have to take and then we have to subtract two from here. So why do, we, why do we subtract 2 from here? It's because repetition, in order to avoid that repetition because rose and lily is counted twice. So in order to avoid that repetition, we are subtracting 2 from here. So this is the formula we have to apply here. So we'll take the sum is 19. So 19 minus total is what? 16 minus 2 will take. So that is 19 minus 16 is 3. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So that means there is one flower pot between rose and lily. Question number 3. There are 64 history books arranged from top to bottom in a library. Ancient history is 25th from the top end and medieval history is 30th from bottom end. What is the total number of books between ancient and medieval history? So here a top to bottom approach is given. So it is given this ancient history is 25th from top. 25th ancient history and medieval history is 30th from bottom. Medieval history. So here what we have to find is the number of books between this ancient history and medieval history. So here total 64 books are there. So total is 64 
and now what we have to take is the sum of these two position that is 25 and 30 we have to take. So what is sum 25 plus 30 and that is 55. Now what we have to do is just compare these two values that is this total value and this sum you have to compare. So which is greater? Total is greater. Total is greater than sum that is 64 is greater than 55. Now what we have to do is 64 minus 55 will have to take. So that is 9. That means there is total 9 books between ancient and medieval history. So this is the second concept that is if this total value is greater than sum means what we have to take is the difference between total value and sum. So that will be the number of elements or books here in between the given two elements. And the previous case was like sum was greater than the total. So there what we have to do is sum minus total minus 2 we have to take in order to avoid the repetition. So these are the basic concepts in order and ranking. Hope you got it clear. Thank you. See you again in next session.